Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is and I'm VP for CRM Solutions with BISP. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how can we integrate Salesforce for sending SMS to contacts or leads of an organization. So as you know that we already have got contacts and lead object available. These are standard objects and we 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 can insert contacts we can insert leads or in create generate leads from various sources now the next step would be i would like to drop a message to all of them for upcoming events so through this video i will be going to show you how can we do same so for this we'll be going to use a third party app and for that we need to switch to app exchange so first of all, I switch to my Salesforce Classic. This is a lightning view. So I switch to Salesforce Classic. Then I switch to App Exchange. From the App menu, I select App Exchange. In App Exchange, we need to find, download an application named as 360 degree app, 360 degree SMS. So you can see we have 360 SMS app. It's a free application but there is a trial version available for it for seven days you don't have to pay any money for trial version for seven days after seven days your subscription will expire and you won't be able to use the features so in, and if you want to continue the features if you want to use the features later on so we need to get a subscription for same so i click on 360 sms app for salesforce As it has mentioned, it's free, but definitely it's only for seven days. So pricing is there. You can see there are 100 SMS credit available for trial on request via App Exchange. So you can send 100 SMS in a day and click on Get It Now. And this app is lightning ready app so we can include this on our lightning app as well so i click on login to app exchange because i have got my salesforce developers account so i can use the same credentials to login into this app to download and to install this app so this process may take some time and once the application is installed configured we we need to make some additional configuration for same and then we would be able to send sms so i click on install in production so from here you can choose where you want to install in sandbox or into production so because i am the dev i am the administrator i have got administrative privileges and i am the only person using this application uh, user in this organization so i am directly uploading it or installing it into the production environment check this confirm and install It's asked for to log in again. So I just provide my username and uh, log in again. Provide my details. Scroll down. I want to install it for all users so that if all the users in my organization, they would be able to use this app. Click on install. Yes. Continue. So this may this app may take some time a long time to install and once it is configured we'll receive an email after installation has completed i click on done and the installation process has been completed and the package has been installed successfully so we will just refresh it so you can see in my install package list i can see a new 
app has been installed successfully that's the install date app is one tabs eight and there are nine objects associated with this install package now let's begin the configuration for this our subscription so i click on app menu and here i can see 360 sms so i click on 360 sms when you click on 360 sms you can get couple of you can see couple of options like sms history sms template so this sms template you can define a new sms template so while sending an sms you can configure a template you can select a template we have sms setup for configuration sms from reports and sms app help so if you need any help you can click on sms app help so i click on sms setup for configuration so the next step we have to do is we have to set up a number so that number would be generated automatically so this 360 sms will assign one temporary number or it would be assigned one number for us for sending sms so i click on outgoing setup simply click on it and it will automatically configure one number so you can see a record has been synchronized sync with from provider and that's the number assigned to us for sending sms for outgoing 18182104149 and the country is us and the status is trial same i click on incoming setup allow give permission so that if any sms you receive that would be directly received on 360 360 sms we can read it to this so both outgoing and incoming we have configured So I got the confirmation message. Then I click on user confirmation. So basically this number is an allotted virtual SMS number. I click on user confirmation. In user confirmation, uh, assign virtual SMS to numbers to users. So I'm assigning these numbers to a user. So this is the default number. So if I, I click on new and I'm assigning this number to myself. So I can use this number for sending uh, messages. So I, I'm a system administrator. So I choose the profile as a system administrator user and I use the same number and I would like that all incoming messages will be forwarded to this particular number. So I just write plus nine one and I provide my number. Auto forward to email. So any all the SMS will be automatically forwarded to this email. And email alert to owner and default SMS owner and click on save. So it will be assigned to me. Record updated successfully and you can see this record has been updated for me. Then I click on object setup and you can see by default this 360 sms would be is configured only for two objects contacts and leads if you want to configure for other user other objects we can select it from here it means only for contacts and leads they can access this 360 sms for sending SMS. so let's go and test how can we send sms by from contact or leads so i click on contacts and we need to make some changes in the layout so i click on setup Customize contacts, page layouts, edit this contact layout, and I'm going to click on buttons. And we got a button here named as send SMS. So we are getting two buttons TDC underscore TSW underscore send underscore SMS or we have another one that is tdc underscore tsw underscore send underscore sms sf and so i'm going to use the first one so i drag and drop this button within the custom button section and also i click on related list so we have sms history scheduled sms so i'd simply drag and drop these two history above activity history and schedule sms so we can also schedule an sms so i'll tell you how to schedule and how can we schedule an sms in uh, next step but first of all in sms history we can figure it out that how many sms has been sent to this particular to a particular contact click on save and let's test it so i'm going to create a new account 
sorry new contact click on new contact and add a number so let's suppose I, I I'm going to test it for myself so I just provide my details phone number one and mobile number I just provide my details click on save and as soon as I click on save I can get a button over here send SMS and if I scroll down I can see SMS history and schedule SMS so when I click on new schedule SMS I'm not able to schedule SMS right now so I'll tell you this later in next step but first of all let's have a look how can we send SMS so when I click on send SMS it open additional screen and it asks us to create a message so to which field we would like to drop a message we would like to send SMS on, a, on the business phone or mobile phone assistant phone home phone or other phone I want to drop an SMS on mobile phone that's the name that's the phone number we can update the number here any template which we have defined we can update that we can select the template and the message so right here test message from Salesforce and click on send it may take some time because first it will send the message to the server to the 360 SMS server and then from 360 SMS server it will forward that message to the uh, to that particular contact on the phone number on phone number if I scroll down we can see SMS history uh, by click by going to SMS history we can check that how many messages has been sent to this number or received from this number so this SMS type is outgoing if any SMS received from this number that would be an incoming SMS so that will be marked as incoming also we can go to SMS history and from SMS history we can see all the SMS type outgoing and this messages has been forward to this particular number we can define SMS template so this SMS template can be choose can be select while we are sending any SMS outgoing messages on a number now the next requirement is uh, my next my next requirement is that I would like to schedule SMS so for scheduling SMS when I click on new schedule SMS I got a message that which we need to click on the detail page of any record click on send SMS button and we can click on schedule checkbox so this SMS will be scheduled but it is not configured right now so how to configure it uh, I click on SMS setup object setup and in object setup within contact you can see we have an option enable scheduler which is not enabled right now so I click on edit and I enable scheduler both for contact and leads one by one so first I, I enable it for contact updation is successful and same we can update for lead as well so I click on edit and I enable it for lead and also the fields can be added so as you can see we can add the fields so right now we can so the updation has been successful so now we have configured scheduler for both for contact as well as leads now let's switch to contact I click on schedule SMS So for scheduling SMS click on send SMS and when we click on send SMS we type a message test message and we have an option for schedule so we can schedule it for daily monthly or once so what would be the start date we can select the date so for example I want to schedule it daily so this would be scheduled daily start date and end date so I want to schedule it on daily basis from 30th and I want uh, for next seven days for next six or seven days they will receive the SMS on the registered number so that's how we can schedule it scheduling can be done so I have cancelled the scheduling otherwise I would receive SMS on daily basis I don't want it on my phone so that's how we can integrate Salesforce for sending SMS for both for contact as well as for leads If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bspsolutions.com. You can visit our website for more consulting services on Salesforce. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.